Howdy. Our names are Sarah Ingalls and Miranda Ballard. We chose the topic of bilingualism because two languages can connect a student to their native culture and to their new culture in America. An article by the New York Times explained that being bilingual and having two languages does not hinder the brain's cognitive functions, as once believed. Instead, the brain works to solve internal problems, improving the brain's executive function, the part of the brain that is involved in planning, problem solving, and other mental puzzles. Bilingual brains are better at switching between major tasks like languages and simultaneously filtering out superfluous information. Obviously, this is really beneficial throughout people's lives, but if you enroll children in a bilingual school, it will not only help them learn to learn, but keep their brain agile. Though the video describes the benefit for native English speakers, bilingual programs are also beneficial for non-native speakers of English. Bilingual education programs are educational programs that use two languages. One must be English for teaching purposes. These programs focus on two main goals, one being to teach English and the other to provide access to core curriculum through the home language. The home language is important to English language learners due to communication at home. The student's non-English language may be the only way to communicate with their parents at home. As educators, we want this to be able to happen so students receive support from all aspects of life. Communicating in their native language allows for students to learn about their native culture. This is a huge factor in a student's self-esteem. A student's native language plays a crucial part to the child as a whole. Students bring world knowledge with them. Even though they only understand it in their native language, the same concepts will be there when they get a grasp on English. Also. Cognitive abilities acquired in the native language will still be there when they have reached a certain level of proficiency in English. The best way to become proficient is through immersion. Immersion can be frightening at first because academic content is being taught in a new, unfamiliar language. Even though students' second language proficiency is limited, the teacher is still able to communicate in an effective way. And over time, students will become much more proficient in the second language. In immersion situations with non-native speakers of English, there are many ways for teachers to create a more welcoming and comforting environment. A great activity is going around to each child in the room and asking what they did over the weekend. This will allow students to share what is most important to them, like sports, families, or movies. Multiple cultures and languages will be shared, thus providing a lesson to all students. Another idea is to have students pair up into buddy groups. The main goal for this activity is that all students will feel safe and that they are welcomed into the classroom. Bilingual programs provide many positive outcomes for both native English speakers and English language learners. Being able to integrate English and the student's native language into curriculum will in the short run help the student learn English, but will also continue to benefit them for the rest of their lives.